Greetings fellow farmyard animals of the internet, I'm the Wilder of Sheep, and today I'm going to start a new series looking at the justification behind the modifications made in recent patch notes. Although I have been playing this game for two years and have some experience with the devs, I cannot speak for them. However, I thought it would be fun to add my sheepy perspective going forward. Plus, this is bound to attract the Fallen Warriors, which is just always fun. So, let's get into this. The biggest thing to come is the new game mode. We now have, again, unranked battle arena. Now we can safely test our new bots in BA without risking MMR. Who knows, maybe art bots might make a return. Although I'm not sure if we can Q-Sync in this mode yet because the matchmaker still uses the hidden MMR. Anyway, hopefully this will undo some of the damage to the community done by the competitive drive, which I know has indirectly turned many veterans away from the game. Let's see. As you might have already seen, we're getting the old game modes names back, just as I started getting used to calling them normal and basic. Bloody typical. I can only assume this was done in response to Jack733's awesome meme pick from a few weeks back, who said cyberbullying doesn't get you anywhere. Of course, queue times will now be longer, in the range of 90 seconds, but at the top MMR I don't see how they will be any shorter. Mark did give us in a tweet plenty of warning of this, and no one seems to have objected too much. I think they are hoping with the extra XP and crate incentives, people will choose League Arena over Battle anyway. This will be a numbers test no doubt. However, these pictures generally reflect the old game and I hope they will be updated. Crystals and Megabots aren't really a thing anymore. Or are they? Also, Brawl really needs to be updated, but maybe it hasn't because it will be taken out soon. Hint, hint. Because... Wait, what's this behind here? Custom games placeholder added? Hype, hype, hype! I got so many ideas for this, and with it you'll be seeing many more event videos from me. Be gentle with me, Free Jam. My feelings are delicate. All new players will now receive more starter blocks when they create their account, so they can start building bots right away. So, on top of the beefed up starter bots, you get 2000 solid square cube chassis and 1000 of each of the other chassis cube types. Yeah, that's pretty cool. As for other changes, here are some of the interesting ones. Remove the game lobby for players between levels 1 to 5 to decrease queue times for all. Hmm. Disable the dust particles on low quality graphics settings on Fuchsia's Valley, Spritzer Dam, Tyonium Canyon, Farsis Rift and a new loading screen for Tyonium Canyon. This makes my toaster happy. The minimaps for Spritzer Dam and Fuchsia's Valley have been updated. I didn't notice they were old. All right. The ability for players to change the colour name of their robots has been removed. Seems stupid, but apparently some players were abusing this to hide their robot's CPU. It was kind of showy off you anyway. See guys, this is why we're not allowed nice things. As for bug fixes, here are some of the important ones. They fixed a bug which caused high scoring players to receive less objective score than expected. This explains everything. I knew I was pro. They fixed an audio bug which caused the wrong voiceovers to play for both teams in the event of their win or loss. To be honest, I'm not sure anybody was listening while they were celebrating their win or crying over their loss. They fixed a sync issue with the voiceover and game end explosions in the battle arena modes. Good, this irritated me greatly. The AI bot's pathfinding algorithm has been tweaked to improve their ability to maneuver around the new maps. They're still AI bots though, so they will always be derpy. This isn't Ghost in the Machine. Yes, that was a popular culture reference. Finally, they updated the crate purchasing screen to correctly display the guaranteed legendary message in English. English speaking people must know their rights to loot. So, thank you very much for listening. Please let me know if you enjoy this kind of quick patch note video. Was there anything simple missing? Careful with that salt shaker there. Personally, I would have liked to have seen the iron fire rate increase and mega hover health nerf. Sprinter legs are fine, it's not their fault that they're in every meta build. Of course, like, subscribe for more Robocraft randomness, and if you're new, check out some of my other videos. Ciao for now.